Hello? Yeah, man, you see me right now.
Yes, stand, stand. Please stand, please stand. Yeah. 
It opened to your understanding. And so then at this very hour we pray that to be take over. Even to those that over on the other side. Watch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Moving on. God bless you. Shall we worship? Shall we worship the Lord? First, let's read Psalms 91, verse from 1 to 12. We're going to have a journey to John, come and daughter, followed by a selection by Akila Ellis, granddaughter. Please follow me. Psalms 91, verse 1 
a fresh tribute. Amen. From Petersfield NTCO. And then followed by the second lesson, which is coming from 1 Corinthians 15, reading from 50 to 58 by Rinka Partisan. Rinka, sir. Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Come on, shall we praise the Lord? Indeed, God is worthy. You're going to sing along with us. A country where no twilight shadow depends. On any day where night will never be.
Greetings, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone here today. Praise be to God. We are here to celebrate the life of my aunt. She has toiled a lot. She has worked so hard. Now she's resting. Praise be to God. We are here to celebrate her life. Praise be to God. Because in this life, if we have no hope, we're like men, most miserable. Now she's gone. She can't celebrate no more. Praise be to God. So what she left, the legacy that she left, let us pick it up. And run with it. His worship. Ah, I hear a sound. I don't know if anyone here to be here and hear it again. But there's a sound. And you feel like if you are conscious, if you are conscious in your tongue, you'll hear the sound. I hear a sound of a mighty rushing wind. And it's closer now than it's ever been. I can almost hear the trumpet.
Hallelujah. We are going on to glory in the good old fashioned way. We're going straight into our African imp. I'm a pilgrim and a stranger. This was one of Sister Simit's favorite song. Soon as she hear it and she love it in musical. You would see she dance her verse when she have on her purple and green uniform. She would be just dancing and laughing. So we're gonna raise it in musical and we're gonna pick up her outfit. Hasha, please come.
Amen. 
the man of God, General Overseer Louis Oboes. Leads me that I will follow. Can somebody praise God? Praise the Lord. Somebody praise God? Praise the Lord. And I will promise I'm going to speak to you for five minutes. Amen? Amen. But if I speak to you, let me just run back a little plan, Sister Ethelene Smith. I have known Miss Ethelene, I recall her Miss Ethelene, from 1990, 1980. Three. Amen. Amen. Miss Ethelyn and her kids, Winston, Karen, Pam, the one that was staying with her. And at night, you could hear them singing the bush. Miss Ethelyn, Mas Dias, Miss Mas Ken, one man named Tom Pani, Isaac, and yes. Mr. Grant. Yes. Amen. Yes. So all, this was the last one. Standing and her time now accomplished. And when they hear them over there singing, it's like the angels around God's throne. Hello, Church of God. Yes. Some of you don't know what I'm talking about because you have never heard her. But she had she, she used some advice. Like an archangel. The only time you hear Miss Edlin's voice, if you sugar her grandkids, her grandkids, then they will notice one different side of Sister God. But today, she's no longer in the flesh. Hello, Church of God. Yes. Hello, Church of God. Amen. She's no longer in the flesh. She became a member in this church. Always had her hair in her black hat. Her black felt hat. She had a green uh, uh, um. A burgundy and green uniform, or the red, white, and blue. And any time I hear the church, the church starts to see she walk out. And she starts to dance. And she danced all the way over until when she reached. The church does dance in a physical form. Church of God? Hello, church of God? Amen. No big word, no kind words cannot send her to heaven. It's the life that we live on this earth determine where we are going and where we will spend the long eternity. Can somebody praise God? Can somebody praise God? Amen. If you want to cry, you can cry. The doctors and grandchildren, if you want to cry, just cry. Because the Bible reminds us of it, amen, when, when, when God heard that Lazarus was dead. Yes. The Bible teaches me that Jesus Christ wept. Yes. Because his good friend has passed. Yes. Can I say amen in the house? Amen. Can I say amen in the house? Moses was a perfect man before God. Yes. And it comes to a time when God said to Moses, Moses, amen. Your time is drawing close. But I, I promise you this Moses that you will not carry this mantle alone. There must be a replacement for you. In our words. So God told Moses, Moses, look over there. That is the promised land. But I promise Moses I promise Abraham that you will not reach fear. 
I'm a person who keeps promises of a sin. You will not reach fear. You will only do it, but you will not go fear. That's why the praise God. That's why the praise God. The Bible teach me before I start a preach. Let me add the knowledge of our regional overseer, all of it, of Chirale, overseer Civic. We have Pastor White, who is a representative of Algeria Church. Amen. The others are not here today. But we are here to worship God. In spite of the way we have to meet, but we still can worship. Because we do not know if any of us this afternoon are going to reach home. We leave home to be here at the funeral, but we don't know if we're going to return. So, when we are here, just whisper a prayer in your heart and say, Lord, if this is my last worship, Lord, I'm asking you to help me to make it in. Hello? Hello? So God said unto Moses, Moses, you will die at a certain location. So when Moses handed over to lead the children, there must be a substitute in the church of God. So Sister Simit has to leave some substitute to follow her footsteps. And when you remember what And the mighty God came down from heaven to bury Moses. Hello, Church of God. Hello, Church of God. So God attends Peter Amen. Amen. Today, God is here with us, and God is in our funeral service. So God attends funeral. Oh, that's the name of Jesus. Huh? Oh, it's the name of Jesus. I just want to draw your memory. Amen. The Corinthians. Amen. 15. Oh, it's the name of Jesus. Here is a celestial home for some people. Flesh and blood. As I said, I don't write a sermon. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. A lot of us, we live any whole of a church, but I have some news as some of you. Amen. In my father's house. Are many rooms? If it were not so, I would have told you, but I have gone to prepare some place. And if I go and prepare that place, uh, that means you must live good. Uh, you must walk worthy uh, to be in that place. Uh, can somebody praise the name of Jesus? Uh, can somebody praise the name of Jesus? Uh, I hear somebody testify. To the family, to the children and grandchildren and nieces and nephews. To the reach of my voice. This afternoon, let not your heart. Be charged. Yeah. Sister Smith, always believe in God. Yeah. But remember this, if a children, I should not trouble her, trouble her by children. Then you're going to hear her advice. In the church of God, yeah. and if I say anything, say, go tell pastor. He won't tell us, say, pastor, is my son. Yeah. And she first come tell me, say, pastor, maybe a man. In the church of God, She's not waiting on you to come and tell me she first. Come in to tell me, Pastor. Amen. We mess up. Some of us been messed up and we are afraid to acknowledge where we have gone wrong. But one thing for sure, she did not afraid of nobody. 
If she have done it, she have done it. I make it, she have made sure no pastor, no children, no grandchildren cannot forgive sin. She know how to pray. Hello, Church of God. Hello, Church of God. Hello, Church of God. So this afternoon, I'm saying to somebody, Amen. If you don't change as yet, you are at the right place. Hello? Hello? For those who play in church, you can't play church. You play yourself. All the storm we soon be over when we enter or in the harbor. Oh, we have to get to a big tithe of offering. 
so that the seventh of heaven. No! You must repent! But the wise! I'm talking from St. Matthew chapter 25. But the wise! In their laps. So when the foolish realize that they stood outside the gate, they said to the wise, just give me a word. All I see is just give me a word. And if you give me a word, it will help me to make it in. But the wise said to them, listen to me now. The little what I have is just enough. It is just enough. this afternoon, if you know that you are on the outside, you need to come inside. Yes, ma'am. It is not enough. So you have a time now to receive your oil. It is time for you to receive your word. So they remind us thy word is a lamp unto my feet and I light and tonight, God, just somebody praise the name of Jesus. Just somebody praise the name of Jesus. Just somebody praise the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 A rich man. Yes. And a poor man. Yes, man. Church of God. Yes. Hear the church of God. Yes. The poor man died. Yes. At the time of the story. Yes. And he was taken yes. into England's bosom. Yes. Likewise, the rich man. Yes. Dead. Yes. He did not die. He's dead. Yes. All right. Hear the church of God. Yes. So the poor man died. Yes. The person who live with God Amen. and pray with God Amen. will die. Amen. The person who the church of God. So it comes to a time when the rich man was born in hell and when he turned his eyes up there he saw sister Simmons. I'm a second. He went to Musa. And he cried with a long voice. He said, Father Abraham, send me settling in a man. Make it come in there. The word, the word water in prayer. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello church of God. Make him put his feet like a some water. That means they're going to pray for me. Hello, church of God. Because I am tormented. I am frustrated. Hello, church of God. I can't stay here no longer. Hallelujah. What Abraham said. There is a 
fix God. Not only adults, but a fix God. So if, if it was only a God, then we can remove it. But when it's fixed, we can remove it. There is a fix God between Sister Simit and you. I'm talking to some of this family member now. So if we know Sarah Sin, and you want Sister Simit, let's come out of sin. Hello? Hello? There is a fix God between heaven and hell. So those who are hell cannot reach heaven. I think you should tell the sisters to go and tell you. Then people who don't pay in church. I will tell them to pay in church. You don't come where I am. In the church of God. Because I'm a place, I'm in a place of torment. But every time they him, they have the pastors, they have the priests, they have the bishops. Let them hear them. It's a name. If one comes from the dead, then they will believe. But why are some people in class church people as people greater? You need to repent. So they, they class the church people. We can't go inside the camera hypocrites. But I have some news for some people. The only way for you that is passing others as hypocrites to see that face, you have to repent. You have to come down after high house. But it reminds me that the poor sister Ellen. Oh, la la.
wasn't. But I am not here to judge. Because the word of God tells us to leave our judgment to him, God. But the life I realize and see when I come here, that Sister Smith portray, I believe she's gone home to rest. Amen. 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 She deserved. Shall we worship the Lord? Shall we worship the Lord? Corinthians 15 and 26 verse. The last thing that will be destroyed is death. Some of you are taking for granted. Some of you are going like we're nice. Because we are a proud. And we are a big house. And we have all the name and things and vehicles. Some of five and ten vehicles. Fifteen hours, too much of the people can't drive in a perfect time. One. Much of the house you can't live in a one. The songwriter said to God, I make my sorrow known. From God I found relief. All of them want to act with nice. They're nice than we. It's a heart for a kingdom. Make preparation for this. We have made preparation for everything. But we're gonna make preparation today because our heart is far from God. But I say to the family member today, those of you who knew Sister Smith well, take a page out of her book and live a life that on that day, when the saints go marching in, you will be in that number with Sister Smith. God bless you. Back to the mother.
followed by the eulogy by S. Ibox. Although I cannot see you, 
I will all I will know you are always at my side. So let me start by expressing my sincere condolences to Ms. Ethelene Smith family, especially Mrs. Karine Dujon, who has been a core of strength to my friend, to my friends and family. I just want to actually greet you and to tell you all, be comforted, the Holy Spirit will just seek you. As given the privilege this afternoon, to eulogize this wonderful woman, known to many as Miss Ethel. I choose to quote scriptures from Psalms 91, verse 14, 15, and 16. And I quote, Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. He shall call upon me because he has known my name. With long life, I will satisfy him. End of quote. I pause to wonder, how did Miss Ethelyn live this long? In a time when the young are dying in numbers and old, and growing old in these days becomes a privilege just to a few. The Bible in and of itself is the word of God and is believed to be true. And so, I have come to the reality that Miss Ethelene called upon the name of the Lord. She set her love upon him, and with long life, he satisfied her. Let us use today as an example of the wonderful woman who God has fulfilled his promises throughout her life. Miss Sis Ethelene Smith Campbell. On August 5th, 1935, to parents Catherine Forbes and Daniel Smith. She was formally educated at the Williamsfield College School, and being the strong woman she was, soon thereafter she got on with life, working at an early age, doing odd jobs to provide for herself and her family. She exudes the character of a virtuous woman who never liked foolishness and not willing to settle for no less than she bargained for. She loved fish, she loved yam, and other cuisine that has enabled her to live this long so strong. Miss Ethelene loved to dress up. If you look in your program, you'll see the beauty and the wonder of God's holiness. Just look at her hairstyle and the clothing to match. She indeed was a beautiful soul. She also knew the importance of serving the Lord. She joined the spiritual church of the Nazarene and has continued her life with Christ. Being the browning Miss Ethelene was, it was no wonder someone fell in love. His name is Mr. Dias Palmer. That union produced 10 children, 35 grandchildren, 54 great-grandchildren, and four great-great-grandchildren. If you haven't and aim to be like Miss Ethelene, God help you and bless you too. The days Miss Ethelene raised hers are different from today. So I ask God blessing on your ambitions. Her favorite song was my father knows. Like Miss Ethelene, when trouble comes and sorrow rises, I myself sings, I'm so glad Jesus knows. May this be your resolve that our father knows. She fell ill on May 1st this year, admitted on the 11th of May, and peacefully transitioned on May 13th. She has left to mourn her children grandchildren, a host of family and friends. The magnitude of this occasion is very telling of how blessed and loved Miss Ethelene was. May her soul rest in peace. Sleep on, Mama, 
and take your rest. We love thee well, but Jesus loves you. Good night. Amen. Please stand. Ask the family members to remain seated and all the rest to stand. We're going to have the prayer done by our own overseer, Simi. We're in peace, like a river, attendeth my ways. When sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, I heal, I heal, I cannot keep it out any longer. Bless, sanctify, bind them together. Whenever we fail of asking you as we are going home, oh God Almighty, lead and let us safely home. Be our guide, be our defender, be our protector. But most of all, I pray that you will be our savior. Whenever I fail of asking you, Fail not to grant the to us as I tell your thanks and wait upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please stand, Paul Bear, please come. Oh, my God, Pete. 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 Pete.
Yeah, we're the video, man. We come back. Hey, come. Yeah, you guys wait right here, okay? Come, come, come. Come. Uh, wait right here guys, wait, you're gonna come with me, alright? Waiting for the video man to come back. It's here already. It's made out of brother. Stay right here guys, stay close.
Skype. Ah, you did well.